Some big money is landing in Bangor to make improvements to the city's airport. Yeah, we're talking about $14.2 million in federal funding from the infrastructure deal that was passed by Congress last fall. Alex Haskell joining us now this morning to show us how that money is expected to be spent and how it might affect your travel experience for the better. Hey, Alex. Hi, Lee. Hi, Chloe. Good morning, everyone. So the new funding will allow Bangor International Airport to expand and make needed renovations. It's all part of an effort by lawmakers in Washington, D.C. to invest in infrastructure. The airport really is an economic engine for the entire region. That's why Senator Susan Collins says it's so important Bangor International Airport is getting $14.2 million in new funding. It's part of a greater initiative to invest in not just airports, but roads, rails and ports throughout the country and here in Maine. A lot of them have backlogs of maintenance work. A lot of them need improvements. BGR can relate. Bangor over the last several years has experienced some significant growth. Growth welcomed by airport director Tony Caruso, but he says the airport needs to expand to keep up. The airport plans to use some of that money to relocate its security screening area. Just off to my left is the current uh, location. We're going to move that over to closer to over my right uh, shoulder. Caruso says it will make those at times long TSA security lines more efficient. It's really going to allow us to expand um, to that point where we could add a third lane or even a fourth lane. The airport is also expected to install a connector between its domestic and international terminals. Allowing the air carriers to utilize uh, a few of our international gates for domestic operations um, and immediately will increase the flexibility and the efficiency of our terminal operations. The airport intends to upgrade its aging HVAC system as well. All in all, Caruso says passengers will benefit from the projects. As for the big picture, Senator Collins says investing in infrastructure has an impact on everyone. Infrastructure is directly linked to jobs and to safety. Now, the airport doesn't have an exact timeline of when the work will start just yet. Crusoe says the construction will be scheduled to minimize the impact on passengers and airport operations. Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.